Welcome, my artistic friends of the interwebs, or should I say welcome party people? Yeah, artistic friends of the interwebs. Just got this box today. Bear with me on this. I've not done an unboxing in a very, very long time. Got the Kershaw, whoop, Kershaw Blast. It's not blasting as much as it used to in the old days, but, <laughs> but it's been with me for a very long time. So let's go ahead and open this box up, see what kind of art goodness we have in here. Always cut towards yourself. <laughs> okay, wow. All right. Well, let's take a look. Let's get it up on the... Um, let's go ahead and get this up on an easel. Because I'm not... Not sure. Okay, hang on. Let me get this dismounted. All right, there we go. There we go. All right. So this is a G clay, a G clay, a G clay. That's French for basically um, print on canvas. And uh, it's wrapped in plastic. I, sh I probably should take that off so we can get a really good look in it and get the whole thing in the shade, I think. All right, let me get this thing unwrapped. Let's turn it around. Okay. I shouldn't have put that blast away. You know what's nice about these G-Clays is that they have the mounting brackets already attached to them. So, I'm going to try to do this without cutting into the canvas because, yeah, that would really suck. <laughs> that would really suck. All right, that should, that should give me enough of a go. Should be enough of a go. Doing this one-handed is art in itself, but I am definitely not... Um, good at it anymore. Used to be. I used to get all kinds of stuff in the mail and I used to do unboxing videos, but yeah. Okay. So, you know, the funny thing is, it's a print, but it almost feels like a painting. <laughs> so, this is um, the last flowers and vase painting that I did. And I had more than a few people that were interested in purchasing it. So I thought to myself, you know what? Maybe I could offer some G-Clays. Maybe I could offer some prints on canvas. Um, now I like it. Definitely. I like it. It's very interesting because I don't know if it's going to show, but all this is very impasto. I mean, it really shows the impasto, which is like thick brush strokes and whatnot. Very interesting. Anyway, this is a much more affordable option if you would like to hang this in your house. Um, I think it's 16 by 20, I'm most positive of that. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't know if you can hear Leo in the background. He's, he's approving. <laughs> Actually, he just went out of the house. Yeah, I like it. I dig it. It's pretty cool. I don't know what I'm pr uh, pricing these at yet. But um, if you're interested in helping out my art journey, I could definitely use a little extra paint cash. Um, paint is definitely, especially if you're doing oils, not, it's not cheap. Canvases are not cheap. Everything's uber expensive. So if you're, if you're looking for a way to support this, definitely uh, hit me up for one of these G-Clays. I'm going to be turning, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to be turning my my patreon into an art patreon right now for the most part since it's since the very inception of it it's been a um art nude i for those of you who do not know i'm a photographer as well and for years that's what i did a lot of with the art nude stuff and um of course you know that's not something you can post on facebook and uh, or instagram for that matter and so what i would do well what i did do was create a patreon but I now have OnlyFans, two OnlyFans, a free one and a paid one. And to be completely honest, the free one is a thousand times better than my Patreon. So I'm just going to switch my, uh, basically use my uh, free OnlyFans as a site where people can see my art nudes, both videos. And see, that's the other thing too. Patreon made it very difficult to do videos. Um, and that's another, that's a whole another video, but anyway, so uh, OnlyFans does not make it hard to do videos, it's super easy. So, my free OnlyFans is literally the bomb. If you're into the whole art nude scene, 
the Betty Page type stuff, nude models and whatnot. I don't, of course, I, I shouldn't say Betty Page because she was more of a fetish. I do very little of that. You know, there's not going to be a whole lot of bondage or BDSM or any of that stuff. Um, but there are some very, very, very nice nudes. Um, I would say you could see a lot of my models shooting guns in the buff, but to be honest with you, that's changing it. Only fans is not. They, that's one of their terms of service changes that they're not, not down with the gun stuff. Anyway, I digress. This is a way that you can purchase and support and have a piece of my art. It's a very cool painting, or in this case, print. Um, now, they are signed on the front with my last name, Hunter. Uh, I would, if you purchase these, I would have to drop ship them. So you would get that. You would get the print of my signature, but that's it. Um, if you are interested in having like a double signed or a limited edition one where they would be shipped to me, I would then remark them, double sign them and number them. Um, that's a whole other animal I haven't really thought much of, but if that's something you're interested in, of course it would be much more money. But, um, I think this was, to be honest with you, this is very cool. This is very, very cool. Anyway, for those of you who are thinking about supporting uh, my art, there you go. I'm going to start, I'll probably, depending on how successful I am at selling these, um, I may actually do some more. We shall see. I'm digging it, guys. That's very cool. I think it looked nice in your house. Yeah. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Everybody take out. See ya!